They're not too bad at all. These are at sizes that are not too intimidating. Vanderbilt grad student Duncan Leach isn't afraid to wrestle alligators. At least not ones this size. In fact, he's been caring for these little guys since before they hatched. So these are American alligator eggs that I um, helped gather in Louisiana, and I've been incubating them in these, these small incubators. Duncan is raising these gators to study the thousands of tiny dots surrounding their jaws. From what I can tell, the dots are extremely sensitive touch receptors. And in fact, they seem to be as sensitive as our own hands. And make them fierce predators because the nerves connected to these dots help gators sense even the tiniest ripples in water. Many times the alligators will snap very quickly after uh, touching something. Duncan and his professor, neuroscientist Ken Catania, say research like this is important because the same trigeminal nerve that helps gators snap can be found in us. It's the same nerve that is in human beings that is responsible for touch and movement in our face. It helps us get a better idea of how different nervous systems are adapted for unique situations. In general, in our lab, we're interested in sensory specialists. And one reason for that is because they often can do something really well, and therefore you can study a particular aspect about either brain organization or sensory systems that's much harder to study in other species. So and by studying these highly sensitive animals, we can better understand more advanced brains like humans. So this is one that was just born last week. Duncan has been doing research with Professor Catania since he was an undergrad. And though his research is sophisticated, he's soft on these baby gators. I've been bitten by some of the little ones before and it's not, it's not too bad at all.